guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you just how I edit my Instagram photos. <laughs> If you do like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any other questions about how I edit things or how I do things, then leave a comment below. Yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie as last video, but I love this hoodie so much. It's from NDG Studios. I'll leave a link in the description below because a few of you in the last video were like, where's that hoodie from? Well, now you know. I've had a haircut though, if you could tell. Um, yeah. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter is how do I edit my pictures? Yes, I already did a video about this, like in November last year. And it's quite funny looking back because the way I do things is kind of similar, but also very different, especially since everything's changed like Instagram itself. So I'm gonna put my phone screen here so you can see everything that I'm talking about and what I'm waffling on about. This is my Instagram feed. My username is at Galax. My feed is kind of monochrome, black, white, minimal styling. I've started introducing more color lately, things like this hoodie. The theme is generally still very black and white. So if I am wearing color, everything else will be kind of gray or something. I don't like it when things are too busy. I like one focus or like a nice setting. Before going into any editing techniques, is that the picture that you start off with should be clear and should, you know, have a meaning. You know, what is the picture trying to show? What is the picture saying? If the picture's not saying much, then editing it isn't gonna really help. You can take amazing pictures just from your phone, or if you have an iPhone, if you have a smartphone with a camera, usually they take pretty good pictures in natural daylight. So when you're inside, they don't take very good pictures, but if you have that sun shining through, then you can play around with the light setting, like I'm showing you here, and you can pretty much take very crystal clear pictures which you can then edit and make look a lot better. Once you have a picture that you're happy with and you want to take it and edit it. For example, I'm going to use this outfit picture that my friend Emma took for me in California because I think it's a good image to show you some of the editing techniques that I use. Now the first app that I'm going to take the photo into is Snapseed. Snapseed is free, I think. You do so many things on Snapseed. You can change brightness, color, saturation, all that kind of stuff. What I'm most interested about in Snapseed are the selective and healing tools. Healing basically lets you cover up any dirt, any stains, any water marks on the table, stuff like that. It's basically like the healing tool on Photoshop. So you, it kind of like copies and pastes what's around it to kind of mask imperfections within the photo. What the selective tool does is let you select a certain patch, area, color, and change the saturation, the brightness, basically a lot of things. So what I'm gonna do is try and get rid of the blue in the corner of this photo, and I'm gonna select just the blue using the selective tool, and then desaturate the whole thing to make it gray. I don't want any distractions in the photo. The next thing I'm gonna do is the same thing to the fire hydrant in the corner, because that's red and I don't want that in it either. Yeah, that's what Snapseed is for. Now do be careful when you're using Snapseed because you can go a bit overboard with the whole saturation thing, but you can actually change how much range the tool has. So keep an eye on that. Now the next tool that I use and that I've always used when editing my Instagram photos is Afterlight. Afterlight I think cost me like 79p from the beginning, but I have used it the entire time I've been on Instagram and I really, really like this app. It's really user friendly. And basically, I don't use any filters. It's so funny because someone tagged me in an Instagram account that gave the exact codes in VSCO that my pictures use, but it was completely wrong. And I never use VSCO anyway, so I don't know how they got that. Basically, in Afterlight, I just go into the tools where you can change the brightness, shadows, sharpness, saturation, stuff like that. Making small edits to brightness, shadows, and sharpness, especially exposure and things like this, can make a big difference in your photos. Sometimes filters can be a bit too much, so I just like doing very subtle editing, just with light and dark, to really make pictures kind of pop. When a picture is ready, and I take it over to Instagram, I will see what some filters look like. One that I use quite a lot is Juno, but I will take it to a very low amount, like even five or something, just for a little kind of spruce. And then I'll go into the edit section on Instagram. I'm sure this is kind of like useless, but this is what I do. So I go to the edit section on Instagram and I make last minute adjustments. Like I really darken the shadows and or I bring brightnesses up a little bit more. It just gives it the photo an extra bit of contrast and then it's ready to add the caption and go onto Instagram. So yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I have a couple more examples here of images that I've edited this way and then used on Instagram. So I'm going to show you some before and after images, like this food picture, before, after, and this kind of minimal installation image. This was before and this was after. So I hope this has been interesting for you. I hope it's given you some pointers on how you can edit your own Instagram pictures. If you do want me to see any of the stuff that you're posting on Instagram, just put hashtag Gallup and I'll be sure to check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.